Three huge asteroids skimmed Earth, and one asteroid exploded over Lake Erie, Canada, at breakneck speed. It was heading from the United States towards the Northeast. This is the area of the landing, and we'll go into this as what space weather is telling us. NASA told us that three asteroids would be skimming Earth at astronomical speeds. This is by Guru Sim Ram Hans on Express UK and also Space Weather. NASA confirmed that it spotted three asteroids flying close to Earth on Wednesday. One of them, the 219 OK, was found, was discovered a few hours before it passed us. 219 OK, one of the asteroids which was traveling at a speed of 42,926 miles an hour crossed the Earth's orbit within 222,164 miles from the surface. This made it 16,736 miles closer than the Moon. The asteroid was 393 feet across its width at its widest point, and in addition, 2019 OE came within 600,000 miles at 2.36 p.m. GMT, whilst asteroid 2015 HM10 reached at 2.9 million miles from Earth at 6 a.m. GMT. NASA said none of the asteroids posed threat to the Earth, but the two other asteroids also traveling at breakneck speeds, 36, uh, sorry, sorry, 361 foot wide, 215 HM10 was clocked in at 21,273 miles an hour, while 2019 OE, which was smaller, at 170 feet crossed uh, cross reached two, uh, 20,244 miles an hour. The 2019 OD could have traveled from London to Australia about four times in one hour at that speed. So you can imagine how fast they were. The other two could have reached the Venezuelan capital Caracas as many times in around one hour at their speeds. CNN reported that in June, astronomers showed that Advancements in telescopes could be able to warn people about impending asteroid impacts to our planet and given ample time for evacuation from affected areas. A team at the University of Hawaii were able to detect 2019 MO, which was just 13 feet in diameter before it entered Earth's atmosphere. The space rock got within 310,000 some odd miles from Earth. David Farnocia, who works as a scientist for NASA's Center for Near-Earth Objects, said that uh, at that time that asteroids this size are far smaller than what we're tasked to track. They're so small, they would not survive passing through our atmosphere to cause damage to Earth's surface. But this event shows how capable our search programs are, even for objects of much such small sizes. The asteroid broke up in the atmosphere, but if it was larger, it could have the potential to cause serious damage. NASA earlier this year confirmed it. It will build the Double Asteroid Redirect Test, DART, mission, which will in 2022 be tested to see if it can have hit a small moonlet and the asteroid system in the asteroid system, the twin asteroids Didymus, which could help scientists develop systems that could deflect away dangerous asteroids. So Didymus is a little moon and a smaller moon, and uh, there are two asteroids coming in together, and they plan to deflect the smaller one of the two, of the twin asteroids, to see if they can mitigate it. In fact, they have to have a real-time type of a training on real celestial objects to see if uh, they would be successful or not to see what they would change in a real scenario of something coming in impacting Earth. Now, as for what space weather has to say concerning the small asteroid that exploded over Canada yesterday, July 24th, with no warning. This one had no warning. So, uh, as what one of the uh, astronomers lately told us recently, 
that we are passing through a meteor shower of the meteors that struck over Chelyabinsk in Russia in the beginning of the century, of uh, the 20th century. The, uh, not Chelyabinsk, sorry, the, the Tunguska meteor that struck over the Siberian area. And uh, that this would be dangerous for Earth because we would be going through a, a minefield of meteors. Now, uh, perhaps that's why we didn't see yesterday's that struck over Canada coming in at us. No warning, a small asteroid traveling 45,000 miles an hour, and it hit Earth's atmosphere over Canada, as we said. And I'll leave a link below for you to see, you can see the maps. It shows it coming in uh, from the southwest, going northeast, over Lake Erie over the uh, U.S. and then into Canada, over the border of the Great Lakes. It hit Earth's atmosphere over Canada, resulting in a, an explosion at 2.44 Eastern time. It was bright as a full moon and scattered meteorites across the countryside near Bancroft, Ontario. An array of all sky cameras belonged to the University of Western Ontario recorded this fireball. And you can see the images here, I'll leave for you. And according to NASA, the analysis of the video shows an asteroid was about 12 inches wide and it came from the asteroid belt and disintegrated only 18 miles above the Earth's surface. This meteor got very deep into our atmosphere, says Professor Peter Brown of the University of Western Ontario. He says, so we think there are probably rocks on the ground. We'd love for people to get, get out and maybe find some of these meteors, the meteorites. And there's a map showing where it fell. Now, the meteorite falls are the next best thing to space missions. Extraterrestrial material comes to us instead of the other way around. Meteorites are of great interest to researchers, and studying them helps us to understand the formation and evolution of our solar system, Brown said. Meteorites can be recognized by their dark, often scalloped exterior. Usually they will be denser than a normal rock and will often be attracted by a magnet. And if recovered, it's best to place them in a clean plastic bag or wrap them in aluminum foil. Meteorites should also be handled as little as possible to help preserve their scientific value. In Canada, meteorites belong to the owner of the land upon which they are found. If individuals plan to search, they should always obtain permission of the landowner before venturing onto private land. If you found a suspicious rock that may be from this event, please contact Kim Tate of the Royal Ontario Museum at KTIAT. So, um, also, we have the uh, All Sky Fireball Network. We had 18 reported fireballs for today. According to the uh, network of NASA All Night All Sky Cameras, they scan the skies above the United States for meteorite fireballs. Automated software maintained by NASA's Meteoride Environment Office calculates their orbits, velocities, penetration depth in Earth's atmosphere, and many other characteristics. And daily results are presented here on Space Weather. Also, July 26, there are 1,983 potentially hazardous asteroids. And uh, the ones that came in July 24th are 2019 OD and 2019 OE and 2019 OK, also 2019 OL. And uh, there's a lot, actually. Uh, there's also 2010 PK9 for today, 2019 NT1 for today, and 2019 NN4 for July 29th, 2019 ON for Ju uh, August 1st. So you can see by the dates that all the, most of these have been discovered this year. Now, the OK was discovered a couple of hours before it came skimming past us. That was... Uh, about uh, 76 meters in diameter, so that was, that was pretty big. It was like almost uh, uh, 240 feet across, so that you can understand how big that was. So this is from Space Weather I'm reading to you. 
and um, I'll leave links for you for this below for you for this. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.